Hi, uh, my name is Elizabeth. I'm a travel woman from North Dublin and I just want to give you some information about travel women's mental health during and after pregnancy. So we decided to go and ask uh, some midwives at the Rotunda about travel women's mental health in general. We picked a few questions um, that we think personally I would think and other travel women might think these questions that we'd want answered and um, some travel women are concerned and be worried about their children being taken away and not wanting to come forward about their own mental health and they shouldn't have to suffer no one should have to suffer some women do suffer some women don't and um, and it's just potluck um which ones suffer and which don't and so we just want to inform the women that are suffering that they can come forward and have a chat with the women at the rotunda and they don't need to be fearful of that and here are the questions that you can you get answers from and if you need any more information you can contact the rotunda or exchange house thank you my name is Bridget McCarthy and we're here to talk about women's mental health what is prenatal mental health Hi, my name is Jean. I'm one of the mental health midwives here in the Rotunda Hospital and I'm here to answer a few of your questions in relation to perinatal mental health. So what is perinatal mental health? The term perinatal refers to the time from when a woman becomes pregnant up to one year after the birth of the baby. So perinatal mental health refers to the mental health of women during the pregnancy and the first 12 months after the birth. Hi, my name is Elaine Collins and I'm a traveller from the Mead area. And I want to know, will Tusla be informed if I tell the nurse about my depression? No. Suffering with depression is absolutely not a reason for referral to Tusla. Talking to us is your choice. Our role is to try and help women recover from their depression. Depression and anxiety are very common in pregnancy and after the birth. And we know that almost one in five women will have problems with their mental health during this time. Out of the almost 9,000 deliveries in the Rotunda in, 2009, in 2019, over 2,000 women were seen by our team. Unfortunately, we do have to make um, referrals to TUSLA in a very small number of cases if there are concerns that a child is at risk um, of harm. However, this applies to all women that attend both the hospital and our service and all healthcare providers are obliged to do so under the Children's First Act in 2015. Having depression, however, does not warrant a referral to TUSA. Will my children be taken off me if I open up about my mental health issues? No, suffering with mental health issues and mental illness um, does not mean you are unable to care for your children. Unfortunately, there is still a lot of fear in talking about your mental health in this, for this very reason. Our role is to help women and their families on their journey of recovery through support, talking therapies, and sometimes through medication also. Does having a mental health difficulty make me a bad mother? Absolutely not. This is a very common worry amongst mums experiencing difficulties with their mental health. And it's frequently the reason that women don't ask for help as they're afraid of that this is how they will be viewed. Asking for help is not easy, but please, please do ask. It is the first step in your journey to recovery. We're here to help you, not to judge you.